Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Strikers. Even though Wario delivered one of the most dramatic conclusions ever to the Super Bowser Cup, there's still one more challenge that looms on the horizon, but that challenge is so soul-crushingly difficult and unfair and frustrating that I really don't have any hopes of winning. But in the spirit of good sportsmanship and because I did promise it, I will show off Legend difficulty in Super Mario Strikers. Now, Legend difficulty is unfair. Let me just put that out there right now. It's very similar to Ace difficulty in Mario Power Tennis and Ace difficulty in Mario Golf Tosu Tour. I don't even think Mario uh, Superstar Baseball really even has a difficulty level that matches this. As a little bit of a callback, I do want to use my original Captain Sidekick combination, Mario with the Toads, and we're going to go against Super Team because... If we're going to play against the hardest AI, we may as well play against the toughest opponent on Legend. Here we go. And we might as well step it up to play on the Bowser Stadium as well. Now, to try to explain what makes AI, uh, Legend AI so different, all four characters in the Legend AI are controlled independently of each other. And I know that may sound like a ridiculous thing to say that, oh, wow, the computer uh, controls all four of the characters. What a revelation. But... They do. They are all controlled independently. In this game, generally, I as the player am in control of one character at a time, and the other characters play some defense and sort of follow the motions and get open if they can. And that's what happens on the other AI difficulties too. The computer really just controls the one opponent and sort of switches back and forth like the player does. In Legend, all four of them are controlled at once. They're all controlled simultaneously. Although Mario's team getting off to a fast start there with a goal to kick things off. I was just talking about how Legend was unfair, and yet we have an early lead here. Just six seconds in, creating an explosive start to that match is Mario's team, but that's, I'm sure, going to piss off the AI. Uh, this allows them, by all being controlled independently, it actually allows them to play some really tight defense, create some complicated offensive plays, uh, and be generally just super aggressive and not even really give you an inch to work with. Look at this. They're, they always try to set up for perfect pass and perfect shots. They will always attempt super strikes if they can and generally hit them perfectly. It's a really tough AI to go up against. But we do have a quick lead right now, although my offensive opportunities are slowly but surely getting squandered. I doubt I can hold on to just a 1-0 lead through five minutes of play. Oh, that would be something, wouldn't it, if I were actually to win this. Like I said, I have no hopes of actually winning, although Mario's team putting on a, a, a show right now. Toad with a steal. Going to try to pass it over to Mario, who is alone right now, but doesn't get anything on that shot. Let's see, now they're going to work up the field. Although Mario's team is in control right now, totally controlling the tempo of this game as he gets another shot off, tries another one-timer, but right into the face of Robo Critter. Now it gets thrown over here. A, kind of a weird backwards pass there by the AI, and that was just right into traffic. Toad able to control that one quickly and get a shot off. Let's see what Super Team's going to do. He's going to cough up the ball again. This is very surprising from the hardest difficulty of the game. Getting knocked down immediately. Oh, boy. This is going to create all sorts of problems. Mario getting that ball out of there as fast as possible. I don't have much to work with. I'm going to try to get the perfect pass and shot. The banana disappearing in the nick of time. It despawned, and that despawned allowing Mario to get a shot and a goal. A 2-0 lead is not at all what I expected against the hardest AI in the game, but I'll take every goal that I can muster before they start to kick it into overdrive. That is a goal off a perfect pass and shot for Mario. A 2-0 advantage. Let's see if the super team has a couple tricks up their book, and of course they do. Look at that. Aggressive shooting right there. But we are 3 minutes and 20 seconds left in this game. We're at that point where... You know, we could th start thinking about going for a win. I was really going to think about surviving here, just trying to not get obliterated. Oh, what the heck? The Super Team got a Chain Chomp. Did they really need that? Did they really need a Chain Chomp? I don't think so. Perfect passing shot. But Critter stepping up, too, to block that one away. Look at this. The item's creating some separation here. Going to go for a powerful strike there. Off the deflection and the rebound. Mario corralling it. And what is this? This could be an absolute upset. Mario's team showing their dominance over the Super Team, saying tough AI, controlled independently, blah, 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 perfect Super Strike passes. That doesn't matter. You know what matters? Hard work, a lot of push-ups and sit-ups, and trying to really be the best. Look at this, Mario on another breakaway over there with another perfect shot. 
that goes into the, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I thought this was gonna be an absolute massacre. And yet Mario's picking up hat tricks over here with a bicycle kick that that ball finds its way to the back of the net in a four nothing lead over the Super, is this even real? This is on legend, right? I, I did change that setting at the very beginning. You did see that, right? Four nothing. Wow, this is unreal. But Super Team with plenty of time to strike back just about halfway through the game. Bowser now showing up to make all sorts of chaos here as Mario gets a good steal. Toad controlling the loose ball, but Super Team able to collect it quickly and off the deflection with an instant one-timer, a frame-perfect one-timer. Look at this. Look at that. That was, there was no room for error there. But of course, the hardest level of AI is not going to make an error. Four to one now, Super Team. Uh, trying to come back a little bit. Robocrit is going to dive in front of that one, knocking the ball way down the pitch over here. Bowser's back, though. Bowser's back to cause more mayhem and chaos as Super Team tackles Mario immediately, so he can't really have anything to work with on that. Passing it across the court to try to get some offense is Super Team, but Mario's team getting in the way. Now Critter's going to collect that ball and toss it out to Toad with the items creating a little bit of separation here. A pass and a shot deflected away. Michelle causing all sorts of mayhem, trying to get it to the other side, and he does. Mario passes it to the Toad, and Toad with a goal. Goal number two for Mario's sidekicks. That is a five one advantage over the toughest difficulty in the game. Thank you very much. Look at this, spinning kick, opposite field, nothing Robo Critter can do, and that's five to one, Mario's team over the super team. Maybe I should've been playing on Legend all the time. No, definitely not. Definitely not, because look at this. Look at that. All right, get that ball out of there. My Critter's been on point today, though, I gotta say. Critter has been on point with more blocks and deflections. He's like a brick wall in front of that net. Ball going to Toad, gonna pass over to Mario. Mario with a perfect shot. Their, I gotta tell you, my critter is bringing his A game. Their critter is just collapsing at the seams. Look at this. Mario burying that one into the back of the net. Uh, there's nothing they can really do though. A two on O breakaway makes it six to one. Mario over the super team. Oh my gosh, look at that ball movement though by the super team. Critter able to block that one away and another block. Another steal on another, oh my god, this is ridiculous. Another perfect pass. Look at Critter though. Can we just look at Critter for a moment? Totally controlling the front of the net there. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Coughed it up big time there. No, not gonna let that super strike happen. Not gonna let it happen. And even trying the lob shot, the lob shot. I hate that lob shot. Oh man, trying for a quick shot there. Oh, look at this, look at this setup. There's no way he can block that. There is absolutely nothing. Critter is like crouched. Just hoping he doesn't get hit in the head by something there. Look at this. Pass over to there. Totally nothing you can do. A perfect pass and shot. Super Team trying to climb back into it, and they certainly have the capability to do so, even with just a minute left. Four goals is really only two super strikes. And speaking of which, they're going to try to attempt one right there. And they're going to try to attempt another one. No. Goodness, just totally chaos so in front of the net there, or in front in that corner over there, in front of the fence. But Critter eventually collecting that and passing it back out to Mario's team. Look at the aggression shown by Super Team. They're trying to tackle us left and right. Oh, off the post! Nothing though, off that two with the price of one there. Two toads get completely massacred there thanks to one tackle. But that ball is just going to squirt out to Critter. This could be like a total upset. I was expecting to get crushed in this game, but instead, I am the one doing the crushing. Look at this. Oh, no, no, no. A little bit of separation here for Super Team. Gonna try to make some noise in the late game, but Critter stepping up big here. 11 seconds, 10 seconds left on the clock. It would be the greatest comeback in sports history by the Super Team, but it's not gonna happen as Mario's gonna deliver a one-timer and that's just gonna expire the clock there. Using items to create separation and a 6-2 victory over legend difficulty. I never thought I'd see the day. I was, maybe I'm, I'm a little bit better than I thought I was, but I never thought I'd see a, a win like that over legend. A time and time again, I've tried to play against legend and I've gotten absolutely crushed. And it just so happens that in the one that counts, Mario steps up and delivers the performance of a lifetime. Look at those perfect passes and perfect shots left and right for Mario's team. I am seriously impressed. And that that's how you end, that's how you end things. That's how you face off against the toughest challenge the game has to offer. 
with a convincing victory. But I'm sure you did see a glimpse of, of AI aggression not really letting me uh, get a lot of offensive opportunities. Even though a lot of my shots went in, um, overall they were playing some pretty tight D. Uh, only 17 shots to 19, but those 17 shots were must have been 17 good ones because six of them went in compared to only two of the super team. I think my critter was also uh, like unbelievable in that game, blocking everything left, right, center. He was everywhere at once. It was absolutely stunning. But what a fantastic victory Mario putting up over the super team. Uh, that's a great way to go out. Um, but one thing I want to demonstrate before I leave you with Super Mario Strikers is just as a little bit of fun, how absolutely insane and crazy this game can get if we enable all of the cheats that we've been unlocking along the way here. Custom power-ups we can change from none, of course. Freezing power-ups where everything will freeze or giant power-ups. Giant power-ups the way to play. Weak goalies, of course. We want it to just be a shootout. Infinite power up, so they'll continuously regenerate. We can have the field tilt left and right, and we might as well put on perfect strike, meaning that uh, super strikes will always be perfect if you attempt them. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do just with all the cheats enabled. We're going to have just a grand old time to close things out. Mario and Toad will go up against, uh, let's go up against Luigi and the Hammer Brothers. Uh, oh, no, 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 not on Legend Difficulty still, though. <laughs> I want to actually make this a fair fight. There we go, on some star. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's do this one on the original. Let's do it on the palace. Let's do it. Uh, wow, I, I'm in utter shock that that's how that Legend difficulty game turned out. I was expecting to just be blown away. Super strikes left and right. Perfectly coordinated offensive opportunities. But maybe, maybe Super Team sort of underestimated us a little bit. They were cranked up to maximum overdrive, but in their overconfidence, they totally neglected just the fundamentals. Those perfect passes, those breakaway opportunities, totally capitalizing on all of them. And now, let's have one last brotherly rivalry match with all the cheats turned on, just maximum insanity that this game has to offer. I'm sure it'll create some memorable moments. Here we go. Five minutes. Let's get started. Getting items right off the bat. That infinite power-up sheet will continue to generate items for us uh, without, you know, without any delay. I think like every five or ten seconds, we just uh, every ten seconds we automatically just get an item for literally doing nothing. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of offense going here, and we do with a lot of success. Off the deflection there, Critter unable to collect that, and a quick one-nil lead. Look at this. Look at this. Trying to block that away, but Critter letting it deflect right to Toad's teammate. And he puts it in the back of the net for an easy 1-0 victory. Not to mention the goalies are set on weak goalies. So really, it's worth it to just pelt shots at the net because more likely than not, they'll just go in. Uh, uh oh, this is trouble right here. Getting a stun is Hammer Brother, but unfortunately can't capitalize on that. The shell causing Luigi to divert a little bit around. Blocked away is uh, by Critter there, but now Hammer Brother trying to create a little bit of offense on the lob shot, or the lob pass, like going way above the goal. I don't know what the heck that was all about, but I don't know what the heck that was either. Look, did you see that? A perfect pass, perfect shot, like attempted behind the net. What are we doing here? More items trying to get that quick one-timer to at least make a little bit of something. This has to go in. Oh, unless Toad completely whiffs, unless he completely misses the opportunity there, just totally dove right past it. Critter letting that one deflect again. If you notice, a lot more deflections rather than clean catches. Uh oh, perfect pass and perfect shot. Another stun on the keeper, but it rolls away and unable to capitalize Luigi's team as Hammer Brother tries another shot, and that one goes away as well. Going to use a little bit of items here to create some separation. Perfect pass to Toad. That shell better not get in the way. It does not. Deflection of Mario blocked away again by Critter. Gonna pass the ball, try to move it up. One timer, no. Oh, with the stun! Oh, but the weak goalies kicking in. Critter much more susceptible to stuns, and he gets stunned just off a regular basic strike. Mario is not gonna let that go unpunished. He kicks that into the back of the net. The field is totally tilted in this direction. Really disorienting. Uh, but that's it, he gets a two nil advantage over Luigi's team. Again, one super strike difference though. I definitely can't feel comfortable about that just yet. And trying to move, oh, a chain chop, really? Really a chain chop, did they really need, need that? I feel like a little bit of deja vu here. Oh no, oh no! Hammer Brothers creating some offense there and all the chaos and confusion with that chain chop running around rampant. 
that little deflection right there to his teammate who's perfectly positioned to get squirt that around critter and get it into the net it's two to one now i mean this is probably this might be more of a competition than legend be just because it's totally random and chaotic and just a big mess overall all right let's see we got a one-man advantage luigi and other hand roll way down but a bad pass turns that ball over to luigi not even gonna let him uh, try a super strike not gonna happen there, but the blue shell stopping Toad in his tracks. I'll use another green shell to kick him over. The explosion created, knocks Mario into the fence. The ball dangerously close to the goal line, but Hammer Brother able to prevent that from crossing over. I think he was gonna pass it, throw it into his own net for a minute, but no. Mario leaping in the air, and yeah, Critter way too slow on the draw there to stop Mario. Wow, that ball dangerously close to squirting in the net, but. Only a couple seconds later, Mario's team able to put together an actual offensive play and drive that right into the net there with a spinning bicycle kick, making it three to one. If you notice, the field is tilted in this direction because uh, I'm winning. So it gives Luigi's team a bit of an advantage here. Another chain chop item, by the way, taking out my entire team. Can they capitalize on it? Oh, look at that, the ball is so dangerous! Down in the corner there, but no, gets out just in time. Not even gonna let him get a shot off, although freezing my own guy in the process. Perfect pass to Hammer Brother. He jumps over Toad and Critter able to block that one. Everyone's just trying to fly at each other left and right here. Luigi passing that over to Hammer Brother with the explosion in the background, and he kicks it in the net for a goal. Look at this. Goal number two for Luigi's sidekick in the midst of all of that chaos. Look at that. Just in the nick of time, able to get that shot off before being blown away by the bob -off. Look at that. Only a couple frames before he is knocked to the ground, but good enough, uh, you know, just in the nick of time, and able to get a goal. All right, let's see. We're gonna try to create a lot of separation here. Just a powerful kick there, but Critter dives and blocks that one away. Let's see, blowing up pretty much their entire team with that bob off, but still able to recover before I can really get anything going here. Toad's gonna try to, oh, why he passed to Mario? Mario's on the ground. Now Mario's up though. Mario's up and in perfect position. No one's paying attention to the plumber who now rose to his feet after being knocked down, charred and blackened. But it doesn't matter. He's going to go ahead and get a goal there off another stun. Again, that weak goalie's making Critter more susceptible to stuns. And Mario's gonna just completely destroy him and get it right off the inside of the post there. Perfectly positioned uh, shot that was to come up to a 4-2 lead. Look at this, total of an early steal. Another scoring opportunity for Mario. There's a crater in the back of the net. It may have been formed by the ball because it's been there quite a lot this match. That's five goals for Mario's team. Look at this, Mario the captain with four of them. Look at that. Look at that, eye on the ball, a uh, kick that almost knocked his hat off, and that comes up to a 5-2 lead over Luigi's team. Still a minute 27 to play, and with, oh, <laughs> and with field tilt and all this nonsense, there's still a lot that can happen. Yeah, look at that. See, immediately Luigi recovering, getting a shot off, and Critter can't do anything about it. It goes into the back of the net, it's 5-3 now. Let's see what we can do. Getting all sorts of crazy items here. A giant green shell bouncing across. It's gonna create an opening for Toad. And yeah, Toad, look, Critter, do you see right after that shot? Critter like looked left and right. He was like, what happened? Am I still alive after that? After that devastating assault, look at this. Into the back of the net, he jumps, look. He's like left, right, he's like, huh? What just happened? That was so fast, that was so fluid. That was so amazing by Toad. Immediately responding to that, six to three. Again, that field is tilted though. That's gonna give Luigi's team an advantage. But let's see if they can capitalize on it with a minute, eight seconds left. There we go, get that ball! <laughs> that was dangerous. All right, gonna freeze Hammer Brother. Gonna try to make some noise. Oh, the stun there. Oh, we can't get the ball back though. Hammer Brother swiftly controlling that one. Gets a offensive attack on the keeper there. Luigi collecting, oh boy, this is trouble, this is trouble, this is trouble. Does not get the super strike off, interrupted by the bomb on that ball pops way up in the, oh no, get that ball Critter, you get that ball. Yeah, that's how it's done, that's how it's done. We do not give up on the play. That's right, Critter staying with it, getting a perfect pass and shot opportunity for Mario. Green shells flying everywhere. Nothing we can do about it, look at this, we're gonna get a pass and a shot, oh, off the inside of the post. The ball dribbles away. Face of that field tilt, which oddly enough affects the air trajectory of the ball too. Look at that, Toad 
putting his body in front of the ball. Items completely destroying Luigi there. 16, 15, he's gonna hope for some miracle here to come back. Oh, but he may get it right there. He may get it. Look at this shot. Hold on, Did that, I believe it deflected off the back of Critter, off the crossbar, and I think off the back of Critter's hand or head, and into the net, it's six to four. 10 seconds left, not a lot of time, but any, oh my God, Mario's just running into his opponent that's frozen. Chain Chomp trying to cause some disruption. Could result in an opportunity for Luigi to do a super strike, but he does not. He opts for a single shot from his sidekick, and it does not pay off. Mario, six to four, and an absolutely chaotic, item-fueled match of insanity. Yeah, that shot was pretty impressive, I have to say. Match highlight number three, deservingly so. Hopefully the other two are mine. Look at this, across the field, Toad, uh, yeah, Critter, that was where Critter was totally confused. He has no opportunity to block that. No chance in hell that he could stop that attack from the Toad. And highlight of the match, oh, look at this. Off the deflection, I believe that's what got everything started. Just com good awareness, good staying with the play. I think that's what that was all about. Even that little skirmish towards the end near our goal, it was all about staying with the play and not abandoning what's going on. Coming out for another victory, I mean, I was hoping I'd win this crazy item match. I was not expecting to win Legend difficulty, and I did in convincing fashion. So what a way to go out with Super Mario Strikers. Again, I want to thank you very much for watching. I want to thank you for your support. Uh, this really wouldn't be possible without you and your viewership and your effort and your voice that you wanted Mario Strikers to come back. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for tuning in with Super Mario Strikers. This is Shadow Mario 41. This has been Super Mario Strikers. I will see you for whatever comes your way next time. Ciao.